Toronto Mayor Rob Ford attended a Santa Claus parade today in the neighborhood of Etobicoke. It caps another difficult week for the embattled civic leader. A Cindy Palm reports many residents along the parade route said they'd had enough of Ford. In the heart of Ford Nation, support for the mayor is very clear. Thank you, thank you very much. As Ford handed out 20,000 candy canes to the hundreds watching the Santa Claus parade in Toronto's west end of Etobicoke. I respect the taxpayers. They save them money, turn their calls, go to their front door. That's what the bottom line is. But not everyone wants him here. Merry Christmas. You have no respect for your Merry Christmas. He's a buffoon and he needs to stay away from the kids. There were plenty of people critical of Ford along the parade route. Does he like doing heroin? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Prove it! Thank you like thank doing you very heroin? Much. I appreciate it. Police documents released this week suggest Ford allegedly used heroin in April and tried to buy the video purportedly showing him smoking crack cocaine, which he admitted to using last month. And even though he was told to stay away from the Toronto Santa Claus parade, his office tells me there was no doubt that he would be here today. How do you feel about Ford being in the parade? Well, it's the city of Toronto parade, uh, and uh, um, it's up to the organizers and the mayor uh, to make that determination. Most of Ford's powers were transferred over to the deputy mayor in November after city council voted overwhelmingly in favor of it. But Ford is not backing down. He's looking ahead. I just can't wait till October. I wish October 27th was right now. Ahead to next year's election. But will he have the support he had four years ago? It seems even this part of town is divided. Rob, I'm behind you all the way. I Thank you. I in the last election. I'll be behind you in the next Thank you. I really election. appreciate that. I'm not voting for him, and I know far more people that aren't. That man's not getting in again. Cindy Palm, Global News.